What is up my witches and wizards? Before you start playing Hogwarts Legacy, there is one very, very important decision you need to make. And that is a witch house you want to be sorted into. Now the good news is, if you're sorted into a house that you don't want to join, you can always choose a different house. So if you don't already have a loyalty or an allegiance to a certain house at Hogwarts, you might be wondering, well, which one is the best? Which one should I choose for my journey at Hogwarts? The house common rooms in Hogwarts are some of the most incredible locations in the entire game. So no matter which house you get sorted into, there's no doubt you'll marvel at the incredible detail, the architecture, magical objects, and interactable elements. But what if you want to choose the best house for your time at Hogwarts? Or what if you just want to see into each common room before choosing your house? Unfortunately, there is no way to enter other common rooms as one character. The only way you'll be able to see all of the common rooms is by creating new characters and getting sorted into each house separately. And this takes a lot of time, I am telling you from experience. So I've saved you that hassle by giving you an inside look into each common room right here in this video. Now I have ranked them in order from my least favorite to my most favorite, but drop your favorites in the comments and let me know which one you like best. Starting off with my least favorite is Gryffindor. Now I'm not just saying this because yes, I am a Slytherin, but I am saying this because I felt like the Gryffindor common room was maybe a little, a little too expected. And maybe that was because they were trying to recreate some of the elements we had seen in the movie. So it was more familiar, but I didn't like it as much as the others. The Gryffindor common room is filled with warm woods, traditional decor and tapestries. And this to me felt like more of a traditional medieval castle feel. Second on my list is actually a tie for Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw's common room is astronomy based with beautiful arching architecture, blue and gold elements, circular rooms, just all over, really incredible to look at. While Ravenclaw is astronomy themed, Hufflepuff on the other hand is more organic themed with plants dripping from the ceilings, beautiful organic architecture, and even round doors that kind of reminded me of the Hobbit houses in Lord of the Rings. Thank you. As I was going through each of the common rooms, I did notice that although all the characters were different, most of their dialogue was more or less the same in that it wasn't exactly identical, but they were asking you basically the same question. They asked you about the dragon, they asked you about Professor Fig, they asked you about being a fifth year. So in terms of experience with the characters, they're pretty much the same. All right, you probably guessed it by now, but my number one most favorite common room in Hogwarts Legacy is the Slytherin common room. Now, I promise you, I am not just saying that because I myself am Slytherin, but I objectively really love the detail and the architecture that they put into the Slytherin common room. Plus, I mean, it's underwater. I mean, who doesn't want to live in a castle underwater? On top of being underwater, there are these gorgeous glass domes. The music in Slytherin is so different from all the other music that I've heard in the common rooms of the other houses. It has unique details. I just, I really feel like the designers of Slytherin really outdid themselves. But overall, I really don't think you could go wrong with any of the houses that you choose. They are all incredible. They are all detailed. They all have these little unique elements that make them amazing. So tell me, which one did you like the best? Which common room did you think was the most amazing? Tell me in the comments and let me know. Also, let me know if you'd like to see a detailed video of each of the common rooms. This video was more of a summary of all of them. Let me know and I can go into much more detail into each common room. Did you enjoy this video? Giving us a like and a subscribe is a very easy and free way to say, you know what? We liked this video and we want more of it. And it also allows us to produce more content just for you. And as always, don't forget to share this video with a witcher wizard friend and we'll see you in the next video.